Hello students, I am Anjum Bhati Nirban. Welcomes you to join the class of English Literature. So today we will be studying the poem called The Charge of the Light Brigade written by Lord Alfred Tennyson. Okay class, so this poem is about a battle of Balaclava. Okay, so let's read the poem. So there are seven stanzas in this poem. So we'll be learn six stanza, sorry. So we'll be uh, read them one by one. Let's understand first stanza. Half of a league, half of a league, half a league onward, all in the valley of death, rode the 600, forward the light brigade, charged for the guns, he said, into the valley of death, rode the 600. Here the league meaning is the collection of people, countries or groups that combine for mutual protection or cooperation. We can say the soldiers, about the soldiers, okay? So here in this poem, the commander commanded the soldiers to charge the enemies. Apne enemies par jakar charge karo, hamla karo and they were going towards enemies which was one and a half mile away, okay? Kitni dur hai? One and a half mile away. मतलब enemies इतने नजीक हैं उन पर हमला करने के लिए यहाँ पर charge करने के लिए कौन command कर रहा है इनका commander या फिर leader and the soldiers are 600 कितने soldiers हैं 600 soldiers okay in number according to the poet they are marching toward valley of death now in this poem the poet has written that according to me they are going towards the valley of death why 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 he wrote this because they are soon going to die obvious agar fight karenge ya fir kuch bhi karenge as the enemies have guns bahut sare weapons bhi honge enemies ke paas zaruri nahi hai sare hi die ho ya fir sare hi bach jaye to according to the poet he is telling them that they are going towards valley of that because they are soon going to be die but the commander and his team, all the uh, soldiers knew that God will help them and they are going towards the enemy. And as the poet described here, they wrote the 600 and the soldiers are, how many soldiers are there? 600, okay? Now next second para is, tenja is, forward the light brigade. Okay, light brigade here, soldiers. Forward means to march from towards the enemies was there a man dismayed now the poet himself asking a question that is there anything to do now uh, he is asking a question that uh, they are uh, they know everything they knew everything and they are going uh, towards the enemy uh, fight karne ke liye. not thought the soldier knew someone had the blundered someone is here used for the soldiers they are not to make reply there is not reason why there is but to do and die into the valley of death wrote the 600 and the poet here described that someone had blundered someone he is there he is described for the soldiers and he is saying that and the soldier even know everything they know everything and they are not giving any reply to their commander their leader they are not to reason why and they are nothing asking anything that they are not asking anything they were loyal towards their leader they were loyal they were honest towards their commander and they are going towards the valley of that and they are 600 according to the poet third stanza cannon to right of them cannon to left of them cannon in front of them cannon is a kind of weapon okay so the poet is saying that there were a lot of cannon there were a lot of things okay there were a lot of guns uh, sword we can say many arrows many missiles according to poet in right of them left of them and front of them okay wallet and thunder wallet here meaning is a number of bullets arrows and other missiles discharge at one time okay so here wallet as i have told you that they have wallet in right of them left of them and in front of them storm at the witch shot and shell shell here meaning is an explosive or bomb bomb sorry kya hota hai ek explosive ya fir bomb hota hai yani ye bhi sari cheeze kiske paas hai enemies ke paas bhi hai boldly they rode and well boldly kiske liye use kiya gaya hai 
यहाँ पर सोल्जर्स के लिए दे आर ब्रेव दे आर वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग एंड दे आर राइडिंग टूवर्ड्स डैम इतना जानने के बाद भी वो उनकी तरफ जा रहे हैं इन टू द जॉज ऑफ दैट इन टू द माउथ ऑफ द हेल रोड द सिक्स हंड्रेड एंड द एनिमीज हैव लॉर्ड ऑफ फेम वेपन इवन दे हैव मेनी थिंग्स एनिमीज सराउंडेड दैम एनिमीज उनके चारों तरफ है बट दे आर बोल्डली face them and they are bravely going towards them and they are how many they are they are 600 soldiers okay flashed all their sabers bear their sabers meaning is sword yani talwar hai with the curved blade and the single cutting edge ओके, सो यहाँ पर उनके पास बहुत सारी क्या है स्वॉर्ड्स भी है फ्लैश एज टर्न इन द एयर जैसे ही वो एयर में टर्न यानी वहां पर जाएंगे तो वो तलवारें चला देंगे एनिमीज सेबरिंग द गनर्स देयर और बहुत सारे उनके पास गन भी है गनर्स भी है चार्जिंग एन आर्मी वाइल ऑल द वर्ल्ड वंडर की चार्जिंग एन आर्मी यहाँ पर किसके लिए आया है कि वो अभी भी आगे बढ़ते जा रहे हैं और ये जो एनिमीज है वो किस पर चार्ज कर देंगे जो आर्मी है जो सोल्जर है उनके ऊपर चार्ज कर देंगे while all the world wonder plunged in the battery smoke right through the line they broke सेकेंड रशियन यानी यहाँ पे क्या बताया कि सोल्जर्स ने अभी किसको कर दिया किल दे एनिमीज टूवर्ड्स मतलब दे किल दे एनिमीज कॉ सेकेंड रशियन रील फ्रॉम द सैबर स्ट्रॉक किससे करा उन्होंने स्वॉर्ड से सेटर्ड एंड सेंडर्ड दे देन दे रोड बेग बट नॉट नॉट द सिक्स हंड्रेड यानी उन्होंने अभी बहुत अच्छी ब्रेवली से फाइटिंग की है लोगों के साथ यानी अपने एनिमीज के साथ एंड दे यूज दे यूज देयर स्वॉर्ड दे यूज देयर वेपन एवरीथिंग दे यूज and they rode back or fighting after fighting wo wapas apni jagah par jaane lage but not this time pure ke pure 600 soldiers nahi hai yani kuch ko one some men ya fir some soldiers had died in the battle yani inme se kuch log battle mein hi mar chuke the cannon to the right cannon to the left of them cannon behind them volleyed and thunder stormed at with shot and shell as if you know student if you remember these five lines are repeated with uh, as the third stanza humne abhi third stanza mein padha tha wahi ye lines repeat hui hai to hum isko kya kahenge repetition of the poem okay so here cannon to, to the right of them cannon to left of them cannon behind them yani every weapon hum agar soldiers ki baat kare they have Uh, उनके पास क्या है कि उनके आगे पीछे चारों तरफ क्या है किससे सराउंडेड है वो किससे फैले हुए हैं वो एनिमी के वेपन से वो घिरे हुए हैं स्ट्रॉन्ग एट विथ शॉर्ट एंड शेल वाइल्ड हॉर्स एंड हीरो फेल यानी हॉर्सेस जिन पर वो हॉर्स राइड पर जा रहे हैं एज ए हॉर्स राइडर दे आर तो यहाँ पर वो हॉर्स पर गए हैं एंड कई हॉर्सेज एंड कई हीरोज वहां से क्या हो गए वहां पर डाय हो चुके फैल यानी गिर चुके ओके so as the poet according to us also the soldiers are heroes they did that had fought so well came through the jaws of that death back from the mouth of hell all that was left of them left of 600 okay now here we can see now we can see here that line they had fought so well so now the soldiers who fought for the country for their country and who fought on the command of their commander who fought for their leader hai na so yahan par kya hai wo kya kar rahe hai kuch to 600 mein se bach kar nikal ke aaye they are very brave we should praise all of them and last stanza what the poet is saying that when can their glory fade now the poet is asking a question himself and he is replying himself that oh the wild charge they made yani unki jo glory hai unka jo fame hai wo kaise mila hai wild charge jo unhone apne any per attack kiya enemy par jo attack kiya apni country ke liye jo fight ki unhone jo unhone ye taiyar kiya hai to unke liye hum ye glorification ka work hai ye glory work hai unke liye all the world wonder sara hi world unke liye surprise feel karta hai honor the charge they made honor the light brigade brigade light brigade kon hai yahan par soldiers nobles 600 nobles here yeah, yeah, mean that we must respect them we must respect their sacrifices we should not forget their sacrifices they have did for our country okay they did not question uh, their commander and they even did not uh, disobey their 
commander and or we can say their leader they do whatever their commander suggested them so here basically we have completed our poem uh, and in last line i would like to conclude it that the poet's main purpose is in the poem is to glorify those means the soldiers who died in the battle for their country apni country ke liye ladte hue wo mar gaye okay class so i hope you enjoyed this poem in our next video we will be continue with the question answers and book exercise okay till then stay safe stay healthy bye bye everyone